This is Abina. Today I'm going to show you how to grow microgreens at home without soil. I am a seventh grader studying at Bhavan Sabha Dhabi. I have a school project to grow microgreens, and I thought, why not make a video about it? Do you know the benefits of microgreens? Microgreens are packed with nutrients. We can use it in various dishes as a healthy addition with these microgreens. In the end of the video, I'm going to show you a simple recipe. Please watch it. Okay, let's start. First, we need seeds to grow microgreens. Soak any seed of your choice in water for a night. Here, I have soaked mung beans. Then, we need this type of container. If you don't have this type of container, then you can use a plastic container. But, we need to pierce holes at the bottom. I have done this by piercing the holes with a heated fork. We can also use this container without piercing holes in it. But you have to be a little careful when you are pouring water um, in it. Because excess water will lead to spoiling the seeds and fungi will grow. Now we need to keep tissue paper on this container. Now we can spread the soaked seeds. We should spread this evenly. I have spread the seeds evenly. Now we should keep this in another separate container because we don't want water falling out when it goes through these holes. Now we should pour some water to these seeds. You can gently pour water with your hand, but I have simply made a water sprayer because I don't have my own. See, I have poured, uh, pierced these holes in the milk container with a heated fork. So, we should gently pour some water. You don't need to be scared of excess water because we already have these holes and we have this container which can catch those excess, uh, that excess water. See? You should not make the seeds dry, so you need to pour water 2-3 to three times a day. And uh, after 7-8 to eight days, the seeds will be ready for harvesting. I am keeping these seeds near the sunlight, uh, means like near my window. And uh, one more thing, we should also check the water in this container. Uh, time by time, we should throw away the water. This is the seventh day. This is the eighth day and the plants have grown this much. Look at the roots, they have grown this much. Now the plants are ready for harvesting. We can make many different types of dishes with these plants. Everyone please try growing these microgreens. Here I am making garlic bread with these microgreens. For making garlic bread, you need bread, butter, salt, chopped microgreens and grated garlic. Now we need to mix them well. Now the mix is ready. Now we need to spread the mixture on the bread. Now we can cook the bread in the pan. We should cook it in a medium flame. We should be careful not to overcook the bread or the nutrients will get destroyed. Now, a tasty garlic bread with microgreens is ready. Make sure to try this and... Thank you.